So a brand new box in the house. This is the A9 5X F4. Now I just want to quickly mention that this video has been sponsored by Huawei and more info coming up later in this video to show you what Huawei has up its sleeve. So new box, new design. You've got RGB lights on the top, front digital display and lots more. So it's priced around $47 and it's powered by the S905X4 quad core CPU along with the Mali G31. You've got four gigs of LPDDR4 RAM with 32 gigs of internal storage. You've got dual band Wi-Fi AC with dual antennas. This has 100 megabyte LAN with Bluetooth 4.1 running full Android version 10. You've got HDMI version 2.1, supports 4K HDR at 75 frames per second, supports 5.1 surround sound, and this comes with a standard infrared remote control. So let's quickly see what you get inside the box. So we're getting a user manual, HDMI cable, a power supply, standard infrared remote control, and you can control your television with this remote, instructions on the back, and this is powered by two AAA batteries. So the box is made from plastic. You've got the A95X logo. You've got RGB lights on the top, and I'll show you what that looks like on screen. And you also have a front LED display, and you've got plenty of ventilation on both front sides. If we go towards the back, you've got a USB 2, AV port, SBDIF audio, 100 megabyte LAN, HDMI out, power socket, and then you've got a USB 3 and a micro SD card slot. And that will bring you back to the front of the box. And this is what the bottom of the box looks like. So without any further ado, let's get this all connected up and find out how good it really is. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this TV box took 45 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. So we have a one page layout with lots of icons. Top left hand corner, you have your shortcut to search. And on the far right, you have your connection information with local time. Now the first row is a collection of your favorite apps, which can be customized by hitting the plus sign and selecting your favorite apps. The next row actually shows very conveniently all your pre-installed system apps. And right at the bottom, you have your app drawer, main system settings, and your Wi-Fi connection. So if we check out the main system settings, first of all, go to device preferences and check out the system storage info. You will see that this box has 32 gigs of internal storage from which you have 26 gigs free to use. Now, if we have a quick look in about, you will see that we are indeed running full Android version 10. And now we will check out the complete system apps. Here are all the apps available on this box as standard. I have not installed anything yet and you have plenty of apps to get you started, including Netflix, YouTube, you've got Airscreen, you've got a secondary app store, which will allow you to download quite a few popular apps and games. But then you also have the official Google Play Store installed, so you can go ahead and install what you want from there. Now, one of the first things I like to test is the screen mirroring options. This box has AirScreen pre-installed, which is a free app available from the App Store. It allows you to mirror your iOS device. And as you can see, it's very quick and easy to connect and it works quite well with very minimal lag. So this box does not support Miracast. You've only got screen mirroring for iOS devices. So now it's time to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive. And I'll be doing this with the included Movie Player app. So let's begin with the usual high bitrate Jellyfish demo. And as you can see, 160 megabits per second playing absolutely fine. The next few clips are 4K HDR at 60 frames per second. So quite an impressive performance playing 4K videos from a USB drive. Now let's move on to the 4K YouTube test. Delta, I see you. Back up. Okay. Throughout history, different cultures all over the world reference a great tournament. Welcome to the space. So that brings us to the Netflix test and the pre-installed Netflix only worked with a mouse attached. So I couldn't use the remote control to navigate. Also maximum resolution supported on this Netflix was 540p. Uh, the three rainforests, the temperate forest. 
And likewise, Amazon Prime Video also gave us After a maximum a SD quality video. Alright, so we're moving on to some gaming, beginning with Asphalt 8. For your advanced users, DRM info shows Google Widevine level 3. And here is CPU Z where you can check out the clock speeds. You can see we are running the Mali G31. This box is running Android version 10 and does not come rooted as standard. And here are the results for the internal disk speeds. We achieved 78 megabytes per second read and 63 megabytes per second write. And that brings us to our benchmarks beginning with Geekbench, single core score 133 and multi core score 431. And in the anti 2 benchmark test, we achieved 78K. So let's see how this compares with the others. And here is my top Android TV box chart for 2021, showing you the latest TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. Now the boxes are ranked by Antutu benchmark score. So as you can see, the A9 5X F4 has taken position 10 on this chart with a benchmark score of 78K. And I've given the actual box an overall rating of 4 out of 5. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. And before we conclude this video, here is a quick update from our sponsors. Huawei's mobile services has recently had a much needed update with a whole host of new features, which include increased privacy protection and access to essential apps and services to help you improve your smartphone experience. Now the updated Huawei Assistant is quite amazing, which you can access by swiping to the very far right of the screen. The Huawei Assistant seamlessly integrates with your local phone tools so you get your local news, your weather, your daily schedule, stocks and sports results all on one page and everything can be customized and rearranged quite easily to suit your own style and convenience. Now the Huawei browser has also been updated offering the ability to block pop-ups and it now includes private browsing mode but you're also getting an integrated search and a new info feed giving you the latest news with the ability to simply swipe to change between several news categories and this also includes podcasts and videos with smarter AI recommendations. Huawei now have a dedicated game center, allowing mobile gamers to easily find and play their favorite games, which are nicely organized in categories. And there does appear to be quite a large selection of new games from within this game center app. And when you select a game, it takes you to the individual game pages with number of downloads, reviews, screenshots, and some game info too. And you can easily download and install any game with a single tap. You also have a section called library which shows you your installed games and you can swipe between the games left or right. And each game page will also show you more games from the same developer and some user comments and reviews underneath each game. You can also now earn rewards, including the ability to exchange gift coupons for your gaming achievements. So Huawei's dedicated game center app definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Petal Search has also been vastly improved, giving you the options to search for anything you like. This could be apps, games, videos, podcasts, articles, websites, and lots more. The sheer scale and wide number of search options is quite impressive in Petal Search. Petal Search also supports voice search functions. So for example, download the Instagram app. You will see how quickly the results are found and exactly what I want is at the top of the list. Very cool and time-saving feature and it also works for regular web searches. So for example, what is the weather like today in London? So with Petal Search's voice search feature, you just say what you need and immediately get the results. Now there is another incredible feature of Petal Search and it's called Visual Search. So you can take a photo of any product or furniture, etc. using the Petal Search camera feature and immediately be able to purchase that product online. Now that's what I call incredible. 
Along with petrol search, you also have AI search, which can be described as a local search. So it allows you to search any data stored on your actual phone. So this could be emails, contacts, telephone numbers, calendar entries, and lots more. And definitely one of my favorites from the bunch, Huawei's Petal Maps, which is based on a TomTom backend. So it offers a professional, rich, turn-by-turn -turn navigation experience, including traffic updates, weather, bus routes, with many customization options, and the ability to co-create, adding favorite locations, and commenting functions. Exit the roundabout. So the new updated Huawei mobile services will bring you more bang for your buck, a more enhanced user experience. Many apps which were quite needed have arrived, offering much better functionality than ever before, and most importantly, increased privacy protection. So existing Huawei users are in for a treat, and for all the new potential Huawei users out there, this is pretty epic stuff, people. So there you have it guys, that was the A9 5X F4. And here are my thoughts. This is a pretty good all round Android TV box for the price, running Android 10, offering a smooth UI experience, great Wi-Fi speeds, supports 4K at 60 FPS videos from a USB drive, nice and smooth, and games also play pretty well. Now, there are of course a few drawbacks, but for the price of $47, this is a pretty good deal. Now, any questions, do let me know in the comments. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.